What exactly are markets trying to figure right right now, given what's happening with the China and Taiwan situation? Uh, uh, thank you for having me. I think what the market is trying to figure out is, is there another shoe to drop? Okay, we've had a lot of bad news this year, which the market has absorbed, okay? To recap, we've had COVID, supply chain, China lockdown, war in Ukraine, almost double digit inflation, oil price, European energy, Fed rate hikes, potential recession. What is the next shoe to drop? I, I'm hoping this is not it, uh, war, war with Taiwan. So I, I think so long as we don't have another major thing to drop, the market could be in a trading range. So, so, so Kate, I mean, it, it, this, it, that implies that, that you feel like all of those things that you reeled off, the laundry list of, of negative catalysts is already now reflected in the stock price in the current market right now. Is that fair to say? Or, or is this a situation where this is still one where we could see a lot more downside? But, well, look, I, I don't know what the market is going to do. But all I can tell you is all of these things are known and they are, they're reflected in the stock price. So until we see right now, companies are going to be reporting earnings. Are we going to see numbers come down? Are we going to see anything unexpected? But everything we know is in the market. And this is what the market has done. It rallied 10% from a low of 25%. So I, I think it's very perspective. I think it's also interesting what the Fed is planning to do. The Fed is saying that they think inflation is going to come down. Not sure if they're, they're right or wrong. But I think the market is saying, hey, maybe things aren't so bad. And, you know, over the course of the last month, Kate, th there's been very clear leadership with regard to where people decided to buy the dip, so to speak, during the, re the, the, the recent weakness. It's pretty much mega cap tech and consumer discretionary and, and communication services. Is that where you'd put the money right now? Or are those your top picks? No, I would put my money in Europe, okay? One thing that we're not talking about is the euro dollar parity. Now is a great time to go to Europe, take that trip to Europe. And now is gonna be a great time for European exporters. They are going to be facing tailwinds as U.S. exporters are going to be facing headwinds. So a couple of ideas if we have time. Unilever, I think, looks interesting here. It's boring. 52 billion market cap, uh, 125 billion market cap yields, 4%. They sell everyday products. Recession, eh, I don't think it's going to affect it much. Dove, Hellman's, Lipton, Ben & Jerry's. If you're always going to buy your Ben & Jerry's. The company is trading around a P.E. of about 20 times. It's done horribly, underperformed both IFA and the S&P, but it's a great place to hide. 